assalamu alaikum all the students as i have uploaded the part 1 of this video before and now i am going to continue the part 2 of this video in which i am going to solve the three numericals that are remaining in the last video these numericals are taken from the class 9th chemistry physical states of matter chapter and section d so let's get start solving these numericals if you haven't checked that video go and check the link in the description box the question says a gas occupies a volume of 40 decimeter cube you have to remember that the decimeter cube is a unit of a volume so 40 decimeter cube is given at standard temperature 0 degree centigrade pressure is 1 atm when pressure is increased up to 3 atm they are saying if we increase the pressure from 1 to 3 means these are the p1 and p2 now unchanged temperature what does it mean unchanged temperature means in this numerical the temperature is constant what would be the new volume they are asking the new volume means they are asking the v2 the final volume but they are saying the temperature is constant it means we have no concern with this temperature uh, in boyle's law the temperature is constant and p and v has a relation right so we are going to solve this numerical with the help of a boyle's law so let's make a data this is the data part in which i have told you before that this is the v1 that is 40 decimeter cube and p1 is given here that is 1 atm atmospheric and p2 is given the final pressure they have increased the 1 to 3 atm now the new volume is the required So they want us to find the new volume. So let's solve this question. First our heading would be the formula. We have to identify the formulas for the numericals. Formula is P1 V1 is equals to P2 V2 according to Boyle's law. Now the P1 is 1. V1 is 40 p2 is 3 and v2 is unknown 1 40 is 40 divided by 3 after dividing you will get 13.3 and the unit of the second volume would be the same as they have mentioned in the first volume so decimeter cube will be our volume so i am writing the v2 here and this box to show that this is the final answer okay so let's move to the second numerical okay so this is the next numerical the 800 centimeter cube of a gas in a container under a pressure of 750 mm we have given the volume now how you identify the volume because volume has four units in class 9th chemistry they have mentioned the four units one is ml second is liter third is decimeter cube and the fourth one is a centimeter cube so you have to identify like this uh, with the help of a unit so volume one is given and p1 is given they have mentioned the pressure so definitely it is a pressure so 750 millimeters of pressure is given so v1 and p1 is given here if the volume is reduced to 250 centimeter cube means they have reduced from 800 to 250 centimeter cube they have reduced they have lowered the volume now they are asking what will be the pressure or what will be the final pressure in this volume so let's make a data first In the data part we have v1 800 centimeter cube p1 750 
millimeter and V2 they have reduced the pressure to 250 centimeter cube now they are wanting us to find the final pressure now let's move to the solution the formula for this numerical is obviously the same as you have seen the volume and pressures are given so the relationship between the pressure and the volume is given by the Boyle's law so the formula for them is P1 V1 is equals to P2 V2 now moving to the calculation P1 is 750 V1 is 800 P2 is unknown and V2 is 250 after multiplying you will get 600,000 and P2 250 this 250 will divide in the opposite side and you will get 2400 millimeter the unit will be the same as they have mentioned in the first pressure so this is our final pressure the pressure of a sample gas is 80 atm uh, means the pressure is given that is 8 atmospheric and the volume is 15 liters they have given the p1 and v1 if the pressure is reduced to 6 atm means they have reduced they have lowered the pressure of atm atm sorry 8 atm to 6 atm what is the volume so they are asking about the final volume let's make a data P1 here is 8 atm and V1 here is 15 liters and the P okay P2 is reduced to 6 atm they are asking about the final volume moving to the solution First, the formula is very much the same. I hope that now this formula will be remembered. So, P1 V1 is equals to P2 V2. Let's let's calculate by showing the calculation. So, P1 is eight, V1 is fifteen. P2 is 6 while V2 is unknown. After multiplying you will get 120. Then 6 multiply V2. This 6 will come in the divide section. V2 is here. 6 1 you will get 20 after the cutting. And 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 20 liters. Why? Because V1 has the unit of liters. So you will also write the liters for the second volume. So this is your liters. 20 liter is the final volume. I hope this video will gonna help you in your exams. If it helped you a little bit, so do like it and comment down below.